Hey guys, a few days ago I was featured in a YouTube video with none other than the e company himself. If you haven't seen the video already, I encourage you to go watch it after this video, of course. Wouldn't want you missing out any valuable information in this video. Write that down, write that down! However, after this video, if you want to go watch it, it'll be on the link. Let's begin. In the fourth quarter of 2021, I made just shy of $300,000 without spending a single dollar on paid ads. Yes, you heard that correctly. $300,000 without paying a single dollar on ads. And I did that all through the organic route. You might be wondering what exactly is the organic route. Okay, so the organic route is essentially when you promote your business, your brand, your product, straight through organic traffic. Organic traffic is anything that brings in the customer without you having to pay to acquire that customer. So essentially your customer acquisition would be pretty much zero dollars. You might have guessed it. If you go through the organic route, usually your profit margins are a lot higher. 40%, uh, 50%, even 60% sometimes, depending on the product and what you're selling. If you can price it really high and it's reasonable and people still purchase it, then your margins could be at 60% easily. For transparency, my profit margins were about 40 to 50%. And that was because I chose to go on the cheaper route compared to my competitors for the same reason, because I could. I knew that I wasn't running ads, so I was able to make mine a little bit cheaper, which most definitely helped out in the sales. My competition at the time were pricing theirs at well above $40. I was only selling it for $30. So I'm pretty sure that definitely helped me get sales in the long run. All right, so pretty much when I began dropshipping, I personally didn't want to invest too much money in ads. We all understand how ads can be. It's a hit or miss sometimes. It's a big learning curve. You're going to spend a lot of money. You're going to have to invest a lot of money in order for you to get good at ads. Me personally, I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to get straight into making money. Straight up. No ads, zero dollars. I wanted to save as much money as possible. I'm a little stingy. I don't know if you're like that, but none of us want to spend too much money, right? But sometimes you have to. I did practice with ads. I tested a few ads and I saw that they were just costing me too much money and I pretty much couldn't keep it going. Anyways, fast forward a few weeks later, I was on TikTok one day and I was scrolling by and I had noticed a product on TikTok being promoted. The video seemed pretty legit. The video seemed like it was a TikTok, not a traditional ad. I had clicked on the guy's account. Um, I had seen that he had been getting a decent amount of views. I clicked on his link, which to say the least, was a pretty bad store. The store could have been better. So I ended up thinking to myself, this guy is straight up promoting his account. He's straight up promoting his brand, straight up promoting his store on TikTok. I figured that if he wasn't doing good, he most likely would not have constantly been uploading because he was uploading pretty consistently. So then I completely disregard that. And then I go about my day. A few TikToks later, I see another person selling the same product as that guy uploading organic videos on TikTok as well. I thought it was the same guy. I clicked on his account and I noticed that this person was getting more views than the last person. I go to his store, the store is a little bit better, but that's not the point. He was posting consistently and he had been posting for about two months straight at that time. But why would this person spend that much time posting, posting two videos a day, every single day, if it wasn't generating sales? So then I gave it a shot. I first found my winning product. Obviously you need a winning product. What makes a winning product? I don't want to talk about that too much in this video, but essentially it has to have three factors, it has to have a wow factor, it has to solve an issue, and it has to be hard to obtain. Because if you can find it in your local Dollar General, I'm sorry, but odds are it's not a winning product. All right, yeah. So pretty much, I was scrolling by, I had seen this product, and this product that I had found at the moment, it fit all these three characteristics and more. I believe they had potential. There weren't too much people doing it at the time, so competition was fairly low. Anyways, I hop on the trend. I create a store real quick, like nice and branded. You know me, I have to have my store looking all professional. So after I was done with the store, I ordered the product because you need to order the product. The product has to arrive so that you can begin testing videos on TikTok. I got the product, product, I made a TikTok account. At the time, you could begin making videos and slap your link right off the bat. I believe you needed a thousand followers on business, but what you could do is you can switch it to personal. Yes. However, now you need over a thousand followers on a business account before you could even begin slapping a link. I recommend using a personal account, just preference, just from experience. Personal accounts always work better for me. I began making videos and my videos, let's say they flopped. Yes, they flopped. You would think that as soon as I began making videos on my first try, I would hit it off, but it's not what happened, unfortunately. My videos didn't do too well, but I did not get discouraged. Three days in, my video actually does pretty good. My video gets about 50K views in about a few days. And I decided to be a genius. I go on Fiverr. I hire someone to promote my account. So I pretty much pay somebody on Fiverr to boost my account, boost my account. I wasn't aware that they were just gonna send me followers. The next day I wake up and I have 600 more followers and I'm like, wow, my video blew up. I check my video, my, 
my videos at 60,000 views. It stayed at 60,000 views. I began uploading a bunch of videos that same day and they all flop. Like they don't even pass 100 views. So that led me to believe that I got shadow banned, which TikTok won't admit it's a real thing, but it is a real thing. TikTok, come on, admit it already. Shadow ban is a real thing. We know already. So fast forward a week later, your boy got a little discouraged. I'd analyzed TikTok. I'd created my own formula. By the time my formula was all ready, I made another TikTok account. This account blew up in less than 24 hours. 48 hours later, my video had well above 100,000 views. It was blowing up, going crazy. Before I knew it, my video had passed the a million views, I had passed 50,000 followers, and everything was amazing. But the sales came in. The sales came in. And believe it or not, I was happy the first five to $10,000 in sales, but once it got $30,000 in one day, I was like overwhelmed to say the least. My phone kept on ringing. I was struggling fulfilling orders on AliExpress, which to say AliExpress is terrible. Get out of AliExpress. AliExpress is good for testing products, but it is not good as your main sourcing place. No matter what job shipping video I had watched prior to that moment, it would not have prepared me for what was to come my store gets shut down on christmas day for an unknown reason i then hop on and i build another store i build another store super fast i get my store running i pretty much copy and move everything over by the time my store is running i update my link on tiktok and i slowly begin to get sales again my live visitors started coming back up at one point it was at 500 live visitors i'm pretty sure it went, it went to well above a thousand it was just hectic in the three hours that it was down, I lost anywhere from five to $15,000, just like that. I also wanna know, your store does not have to be amazing. It does not have to be great. As long as your store is presentable and capable of completing a sell, then you're perfectly fine. You do not need to spend hours and hours on end trying to build a store. Don't reinvent anything, just copy your competitors. Take theirs, make it unique, of course, make it yours, make it better, and you're good to go. Once the sales start coming in, then you can focus more time on building a better store. In the beginning, your main focus is making good content. That's the main focus. You gotta learn how to make good content because you're essentially gonna become a content creator. You're not just a job shipper, you're a content creator, okay? Get that right. When it comes to making TikTok videos for your product, you want it to be in the form of a TikTok. You don't want no traditional ads. Traditional ads do not work on TikTok. That is the biggest tip I can give you today. Traditional ads don't work on TikTok, all right? Say it with me. Traditional ads don't work on TikTok. You're gonna have to create fluid-like videos that just flow with the TikTok algorithm. When someone's scrolling by, if they notice that it's a product, they're gonna keep on scrolling by. So anyways, I hope this video helped. If you guys want any more tips, please follow me on Instagram. My link is down below. If you follow me on Instagram and DM me, I might just reply, who knows? But yeah, essentially that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys want in the next video. See, currently I'm working on a project. Trying to get to $1,000 in sales with a whole new account, a whole new product, a whole new everything. I want to show you guys that. If I could do it, you guys could do it too. Right now is the best time to begin dropshipping. Dropshipping is not dead. TikTok revived it. Let me just say that right now. TikTok revived dropshipping. If you guys want more tips, please leave them below. Whatever video you guys want to see next, comment below. Follow me on Instagram. Catch you later.